Bob Maloney from My MMA News, and tonight's travels bring me to the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia, with one of my favorite fighters, Lisa Edinger. Lisa, how are you? Hey, how are you? Don't be confused. <laughs> don't, listen, don't kid yourself. You may see a pretty face here, but if you get in the ring with her, you're in trouble. Lisa has a seminar coming up and a fight. Before we talk about that, I have I want to talk to you about your style and about a few things. Listen, are you like the Hulk and you're angry all the time, or is it th just that way when you fight? Where do you get that mean streak? Because when you fight, you go in there to like fight violently, and that's one of the reasons I love watching you fight. And Lisa is the first and the only current professional female Muay Thai champion in the state of Pennsylvania, so I'm here with royalty tonight at State Fly Muay Thai. But where does that, where does that anger, that violence come from? Was that something that somebody taught you? Because like I said, when you go in there, you just smile and now when I see your walk out, she, here she comes walking out to the cage, you're a completely different person. Yeah, no, I just think like that person's not in there to be friends with me and to want to like pillow punch me, so I'm in there to really go at her and try to like pretty much make her leave because I like to see blood and I think a lot of people don't see it, so why not give them a show? So that's all you? You didn't have like some coach to like kind of like... Absolutely no. All Absolutely you, right, yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah. Awesome, awesome. So who got you started in mixed martial arts? Well, obviously you're doing Muay Thai now. We'll talk about in the future later, but who got you in love? What made you fall in love with getting here and fighting and competing? Um, Eric Carner really got me involved in it. Uh, so as original uh, not boy where Billy teaches now in King of Prussia, uh, Bill Algio teaches in King of Prussia. Uh, Eric Carner was his coach and he was my coach as well. And he's the one who kind of got me started and made me fall in love with it. Technique was on point. He brought me out to Thailand. So, I, I mean, as soon as we started doing like any type of pad work, like kicks were my thing. So, he's like who I devote everything to. He's kicks. Still, yeah, he's still in my corner to this day. Kicks, kicks, and elbows. Don't forget. She, yes. She, when we, when I leave here, she's probably gonna go sharp on those elbows because she loves to throw them. Okay, listen. Tell me about the seminar. We have you're a USKA champion. Yeah. You have a seminar coming up December eighth. Tell people about that a little bit. Yeah. So uh, December eighth, before the fight started, USKA, we're gonna have a seminar from two thirty to four. Um, I'm gonna be teaching just elbows because I love elbows. Uh, little head kicks, because I love head kicks, clinch work, uh, just a little mix of everything that I like to do because I don't really have like one specialty, I just go in there and throw whatever I feel is going to get the job done. So. Well, is it true that they buy a ticket to your seminar and they get a ticket to the fight for free, yes, right? Yes, yes. So if you purchase a ticket for the seminar, you're going to get a general admission ticket to USKA fights that night as well. And that's in Allentown where, you know, the USKA, re what's it called, Reloaded? Yes. Reloaded? Reloaded? I think it's reloaded. Is it reloaded? Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Gary. Sorry. You can do... okay. But anyway, Lisa, now a week later, yep. you're actually going to get in the, back in the ring for real. Yeah, so, so give excited. us some details about the fight because I haven't heard anything about it other than you posting some pictures. <laughs> Let me hear all the details about it. Yeah, so I took um, a late notice a late notice fight um, for Friday Night Fights, Friday the 14th in New York at Frog Street Ballroom. Um, I mean, they didn't really have females on the card from pros, so uh, I stepped up. I'm going up a weight class. Um, this girl apparently has wanted to fight me. I don't know. She posted that she's been itching to fight me, so I mean, I'm going to show her pretty much that she's going to regret saying that ever. So what weight class is it you're fighting at? It's going to be 128. Okay, so you don't even really have to cut, so you're going to be nice and strong, right? <laughs> Pretty much. If I know that, I would have brought you some food tonight. I know, I know. I was like, oh, oh man, the cookies will be here. <laughs> I would have brought you food if I didn't know you were cutting weight. I seriously, I was eating chicken noodle soup tonight. I said, I'm bringing you to bring Lisa treats. And I better not. She'll get mad if she, she can't eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it's nice to like be able to indulge a little bit, but I'm still like pretty sure that I'm Okay, now listen, you're over here at State Fly Muay Thai, you're doing a little, you're training, you're instructing, whatever. Is mixed martial arts, are you going to be, is that in your, how far in the future is that a way for you? Do you get a chance to roll, or are you going to try to stick with strictly Muay Thai for now? Um, I mean, Muay Thai has always been my, like, uh, the love of my life. Um, I mean, I love Jiu-Jitsu, like, even somebody went to go put me in an arm bar the other day, and I reversed it in, like, a second, and I was like, all right, I miss this, so, it's never out of the question, it's always, like, in the back of my mind, and I know a lot of uh, promoters have reached out, so, I'm trying to pick and choose good fights, not just go with 
somebody who's been in the game for a while. Yeah, I know. I've seen a few female fighters and making their debut, and I'm like, man, Lisa uh, yes. will be licking her chops if she could get in there, yes, you know? Yes, so. yes. But I guess it's all about the opportunity, right? It is, yeah, yeah. I mean, I love Friday Night Fights is a huge bar, and it's uh, one, the, one of the oldest promotions on the coast here from Muay Thai, so it's like a huge honor to be asked to be a part of their card. Um, so I'm just going to try to put on a good show so I can get asked to come back again. Well, I seen you doing. Uh, you went up there to do tail of the tape. Is that is it yes. gonna be on TV or, or is that on pay per view? What, what, what's the thing with Friday Night Fights? Um, it'll be broadcast on UFC Fight Pass. So if you don't have a chance to actually make it up to New York on the 14th, you can always stream it uh, via UFC Fight Pass. Awesome. Once again, I'm with Lisa Edinger. I always want to say Lisa Lynn. <laughs> you can find her on Facebook and on Instagram at Lisa Lynn. But. Um, she has a seminar December 8th. She has a fight December 14th. Lisa, before we go, I want to say thank you for you know letting me come and visit you and give out some love to some people who are going to be there cheering for you, the people that have been giving you some moral support and helping you get ready for this fight. Um, obviously, my coach, Justin Greshwitz, a uh, huge shout out. He's here every day for me, holding pads probably twice a day. Um, so he's like my right hand man in this fight camp. Um, Derek Kenny, also huge shout out to Derek. Uh, Eric Carter, always my number one. Julia for coming down. Julia Hopkins, hey! <laughs> Julia, our camera woman tonight, the business expert videographer. Um, Justin Gross, he's uh, my number one training partner, and yeah, all of my people at 302 and Taylor for always being behind me. So. Awesome. Check her out, follow her on social media, and let me tell you something. You're going to love to watch her fight. Check her out on UFC Fight Pass because she goes into finish fights. She's not in there to go to the judges' scorecards. Elbows, knees, and blood. That's my girl, Lisa Edinger. Lisa, pleasure. <laughs>